Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Try This DIY. In this video, I want to show you how to set up your original beet shade. It only takes a few minutes to set up, which is great because if you have kids like me, they're probably already eating sand or devouring all the snacks. To begin, all you have to do is to take the two white stakes, you will screw one into the sand, and then take approximately seven steps and screw the other one into the sand as well. Then you would take the extender pole which works just like a tent pole and extend it all the way out. Then you will take the canopy or the canvas shade and slide it into the pole. One of the ends of the legs of the canopy is open while the other is closed. So you have to find the open end and put it in and then slide it into the pole. Now you can stick the ends into the stakes that you put into the ground earlier. Make sure you keep your hand on the canopy the entire time, then place the other end in the final stake. One thing I recommend is to pull the end over the pole so this will help hold it in place. Then you are finished. The setup only takes three to five minutes to do, which is nice. I love the carrying size of the shade. It's only about five pounds and is very small. This is great when you carry your entire life to the beach every day with three kids and normally have to carry one of them back into the room since they are too hot to walk. It also gives off 140 square feet of shade, which is plenty for four to five adults or a bunch of kids. It's also very easy to take down. You will pull just one end out of the stake and then go to the other side while keeping a hand on the shade and do the same. Once the shade is out, you will pull the tent pole out of the canopy Break down the pole and put everything back into the small carrying bag. Again, this is nice because breaking it down only takes two or three minutes to get it completely broken down and all packed up. There's also a separate bag for the sand anchors, which is great, so that way they won't rip your canopy. This was a great tent. The pros I have for this is the size of the shade. It's very large and it's very easy to set up. Also, the size of the carrying bag is great. It's super small and very easy to store. We had a few windy days and this canopy did amazing. It's also very tall so you can stand underneath and have plenty of room. The cons for this are if there's no wind, it's pretty tough and there isn't much you can do. To that point though, this thing will move even if there's a slight breeze. We did have to move the canopy a few times when the wind shifted and this wasn't too bad because it only took about 30 seconds. I also have heard people talk about how loud the tent was when it's really windy but we didn't really notice this. We're also used to just going with kids, so we didn't hear the tent at all. Overall, we like this beach shade and we've already recommended it to multiple people. We also had a few people stop by on the beach and ask us about it. And I think this is a great beach shade, especially if it's windy. I will have a link for this beach shade down below. If this video was helpful, you can let me know that you can leave a like and subscribe, or you can check out another beach video right here and I'll see you over there.